My dream for the community would be that we can all come together instead of being so hateful towards each other. We can all just come together and make Pine Ridge a better place for the younger ones, the ones who still don't know what to do with their lives. You know, they're still learning because they're so young. But we, the youth and our elders, we all need to come together and show all the younger ones that there can be a better road for us. My dream would be for every one of them to get out of this cycle of poverty, the cycle of low self-worth, and to be, able, to be able to function in both worlds, the Indian world and the white world. We, as Lakota people, have to walk in two worlds in the same way with the young people. They need to be able to survive in both worlds. So they need to have that knowledge in that outside world. And they need to have the wisdom in, this, in our Lakota culture. They need to be able to make their needs known in both, in both worlds. And that's where that education comes in. I would like to see all the younger generations out there come up and not do the bad things that are out there, not go down the, bad, the wrong path. I would like to see them accomplish what they what they want to do in life. They want to play football, go f go for the go for the right choices in football, basketball, baseball, running. I'd like to see them accomplish it, set a record or set a good a good goal for themselves to accomplish it. Go to college. I like to see them. I like to see our younger ones come together as one. We need to come together as a community to be one with each other, to have self-respect and respect for others, to just to be together as a community. The Lakota Oyate telling the people, you have to come together, not just one person. We all have to come together for the sacredness. Our children are sacred, our wakainja, the children are sacred. And if we want to help them, we have to do it together. Probably the best way we can do that is getting, like I said, getting to know who we are as a people and as an individual. Going back to what helped them survive, which is unity, trust, belief, belief in our ways, our ceremonies, belief in the wisdom that we have. If we can do that, or if the young people can learn that, I believe that they're going to survive as a tribe. We have to, first of all, go back into ceremonies, you know, go to sun dances. Sun dancing, I think, is very big because it shows sacrifice. You sacrifice yourself, you know, without eating, without drinking, you know, being in the hot sun all day for to pray for the ones you love. I think, you know, that's very important there. And I would like to see more of the younger generation start talking to the, the elders, start learning now while they're here, start talking to them and realizing what's wise and what's not wise. I think that if we just start being more respectful and listening to the elders and just if they take away the alcohol and all the drugs and all the negatives in our community, like this right here. <laughs> this is everywhere. I don't like to see this everywhere I go. Alcohol just laying there on campus grounds. See, we need to clean this up. I don't want no more of this. I would like to see nothing like this when I get older, whenever I'm an adult, a full adult and whenever I'm an elder, I'd like to see everything cleaned up. If you can stand up among people and say, I am a Lakota, then as a young person, you will be more focused. You'll be more ready to face the world. That is knowing who you are, getting your knowledge and your wisdom together to work as one. There is hope. We talk about it, 
and a lot of young people just hear it. But we want to show you. Let us show you that there is hope. So step out of your comfort zone to the young people. I know you're in your comfort zone and I know you have issues that may be big, they may be small, but a lot of times we don't want to come out of our comfort zone because we're afraid. Don't be afraid. Come out of your comfort zone because there's people out there that care. And let us show you that there's hope. Let us get you involved in life. The overall view, spiritual view of you young people from the, from the elders is they refer to you as wakainja. Le wakainja hecha, these are the sacred beings. You're, to, you're sacred beings and um, it is up to the adult world to fill you with knowledge that you can use to walk in this life. And to fill you with spiritual knowledge in ways that you can deal with, with these many crises that comes in living in a poverty-stricken community. Well, I think as a community, and for my generation, we need to look at ourselves too, because we are the role models. You know, these young people are looking up at us. So we need to be their role model. We need to be positive. We need more positive attitudes. They give up too easily. Like, they think they have nothing worth fighting for, nothing to live for, when there's everything, all the possibilities. We can help ourselves by having faith in ourselves and our people and not just saying, well, they're already down that road, we might as well give up because we shouldn't do that. If we see somebody with a problem, we should try to help. And maybe it'll help people realize that, you know, the way we're going isn't down the right road. And if we help each other, then we could probably get back on track. <laughs>